I've been standing still for over 23 years. It's changed my life. I was never very sporty in school. Some of the other kids used to tease me about it, call me names. Loser. Lard ass. Unco. Chunky monkey. Boink boy. Bacon botherer. Whale mail. Fatty, fatty mat mat. That was a good one. Aisle blocker. But then I met Brian and everything changed. Excuse me. Static athletics is a very underrated sport. You have to be a special kind of person. Now, well, the first time I saw Matt, it was a kid's party, huh? Well, they were playing some sort of game and they had to pretend to be statues. I don't know, there was something about him, his, his poise, his foot placement. And I thought, that kid's a natural. He could go all the way. Brian took me under his wing and it just went from there. Hey! Hey! Ha! Keep still! Yes? Don't move, don't move. move. Hold that thought. Hold it! Hold it, statue! Statue! Remember? Still? Still. Hey! Hey! Ha! Yes, good. Hold it! Ha! Feel it. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Oh, of course you can. Don't you move. <laughs> no. Yes! 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 Ah! No! Okay. Right. You are a rock. I am a rock. You are a statue. I am a statue. Actually, you've got a bit of stuff on that front there. Where? There. Oh. oh. It was important to get it right for both of us. I didn't want to drop him at the deep end, so we started small. I started competing on a local level when I was quite young. Went my way up the rankings. Yeah, it wasn't long before he was outclassing all the other kids on a regular basis. I think we both knew where this was going. I won my first national championship at 16. Took everyone by surprise, including me. Yeah, yeah, great memories. Yeah, and then it was on to the the World Championship. Well, in those days, there was no funding. Still isn't. SA isn't really recognised as a sport in New Zealand. I mean, you go overseas, they're light years ahead. Japan, well, it's got its own academy of excellence. Cuba, Russia, well, the kids are standing still from the age of three. In America, well, there it's an art form. Prague. We did everything right. Training, diet. We even turned up two weeks early so the boy could get acclimatized. I remember it as clear as day. The dressage round had gone beautifully, not a hitch. Then it was the freestyle. I remember the judges were all lined up and as the boy walked out there, he looked so composed. And here he is, this young athlete who's been turning heads all week, young Matthew Bannister from New Zealand. The crowd is out of capacity. We haven't seen this type of roar in a very long time. Stretches, going through his final preparations. Conditions are perfect. This coach there looks excited, doesn't he? Well, this promises to be a stern test for the young man they're calling the Silverdale statue. Hush descends. They can't wait. And straight into the 3PO. That's his signature move. Textbook stuff. Yes, it's the one the Star Wars fans have been waiting for.
He's gone for the Egyptian, a bold move from Bannister. And oh, well, you have to say, that is something special, and I'm not alone. This crowd absolutely loving it. And so are the judges. Dolia looks on, medal chances disappearing. What will this young Kiwi treat us with next? Shakes it out, loosening up. Surely not. It, it is, you know, it's the Lotus. What a classic move. Now then, can he hold it? Can he hold it? This is a move that really brings the crowd to the edge of their seats. Oh, there seems to be slight movement there. Not enough, perhaps, for the judges to notice. But it seems to be getting worse. This is not good at all. Everyone seems to be noticing there's no escaping it. There definitely is some movement here. Coach sees it. He's losing it completely here. Oh, no. No, no, no. What? Oh, disaster for the young man. Shades of Mexico written all over it. Well, he looked a million dollars, didn't he? Then it all turned to ashes in his hands. Victor turned loser in a matter of seconds. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This... This just goes to show the pressure these athletes are under. And... And, well, it's almost too painful to watch, isn't it? Avanov Gold, Jaswakalska Silva and Batista the Cuban takes a well-earned bronze. Oh, and lovely. Nice to see. But that's not. Poor, poor Matthew Bannister. How fickle the finger of fate can turn. And the look on his face. Just look at his face. Oh. Sorry, Miss Hart. What can you say? It was hard on the lad. He's a battler. Hope there's no coming back. Things were never the same after that. It took me a long time to get over it, but I did. I'm in a better place now. I've got my wife, my son, a good job. It's not much, but it suits me fine. You know, some might say, yeah, that's Matt Bannister. He screwed up. He's the one who let all us Kiwis down. And they'd be right. But it's like Elton said, Elton John, I'm still standing, better than I ever did. Better than I ever did. I don't think this country will see the like of him again. Not in my lifetime, anyway. And statue. Chip off the old block. 